What's up guys? So in these two boxes, I have a Metabones Speed Booster and a GH5 from Panasonic. It just came in from FedEx. I'm upgrading my rig. So currently I shoot on a 6D Canon. The reason I got the GH5 was because there was a couple things I needed and the two biggest was I wanted 4K and I wanted to be able to do at least 120 FPS slow motion in at least 1080. The GH5 <laughs> does all of that. It can do up to 180 FPS at 1080p. Low light is probably equivalent to the old 6D. I couldn't imagine. It's probably even a little better. I've heard it can go probably up to about a, a thousand ISO before you want to stop um, messing with it. The old 6D, not the Mark II, have you? The old 6D, that's what I'm shooting on. That you probably wouldn't even want to put up past 800 ISO. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of do an unboxing for you guys. Kind of like show you what to expect. Um, my diver's knife. I am a certified scuba diver. So let me tell you a little bit about what I shoot. Right now I'm shooting a lot of fitness content. Um, I want to do a lot of like those motivational style videos that get people out of bed and really like working on themselves. Um, I know as a young kid, I used to watch a lot of those videos and they really helped me. Um, so, you know. I want to return the favor. And now I do want to mention I got the GH5 used from B&H. Um, this isn't new. So here we have da -da -da -da, Micro Four Thirds Lumix GH5. Alright. Open this bad boy up. So I was been shooting Canon and one of the big reasons I was hesitant of going to any like even switching to Sony right now is because I'm not familiar with them, and that just might be like a really low key reason. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. So here we have the Lumix GH5 Micro Four Thirds camera, 4K, 120 FPS at 1080. Beautiful. The body size, it feels really good in my hands, I'm not gonna lie. So from all the research I've done about the GH5, I wanna tell you guys a little bit of why I decided to get this instead of say a Sony. The first reason was because of the slow motion capabilities. I wanted a camera that can do 120 FPS at 1080. The GH5 checks that box. Also, I also wanted to get into the 4K game. That's for when I'm shooting for YouTube. I like having 4K on YouTube. So one thing this does do is 4K. Um, and again, for the price point for 4K, it's also phenomenal. Now. Another pro is that they all do offer a sort of vlog. I haven't gotten into logs that much and camera profiles. I know about LUTs, I know about all that. I've been using DaVinci to color grade my stuff by itself. This is gonna be a great entry point for me into the whole vlog system. One of the biggest cons of this camera so far is skin tones. There seems to be a little bit of color smudging in the skin tones um, with this camera. It doesn't do the greatest job with skin tones that's what i've seen so far i haven't done any practice i haven't shot with it i mean i've seen side by side comparisons with this and say uh a c300 or a sony a7s2 and there was a little bit of color smudging from what i saw on the youtube on the youtube um but there wasn't anything drastic to the point where i'd say eh that's not what I'm going for. And again, if you want a quality camera, if you want a camera that does exact skin tone matching in perfect colors, like you're going to have to spend more than what a GH5 was. But for the $1,700 mark to get 4K, to get 100 FPS at 1080 uh, is just like a fucking phenomenal to me. So another reason was the low light capabilities. I mean, this I wanted to go for a camera that was really good in low light. Um, that would be like the A7S or the A7R2. Those cameras, those Sony's, they're great at like phenomenal at low light. Um, this one is lesser so than those cameras, but it's not, I wouldn't say lesser than my 60 than I have. It's probably better than my 60. And I've been able to get some great footage out of my 60 that I'm currently shooting on. So to me, that's I'm, I'm, I'm increasing my low light. Now, if you're switching from a Sony a7S II, you'd be decreasing your low light capabilities, but I'm increasing it anyway. So. I'm, it's, it, that works for me. And then what you also want to know about this camera is that this is a micro four thirds sensor. It's not a full frame can, camera. My Canon 60 is a full frame. So you can purchase native lenses for Panasonic that will work on these micro four thirds cameras. But if you don't want to do that and say, for instance, you want to continue shooting 
with your full frame L series Canon lenses or any other full frame Canon lenses, um, you can get something called a speed booster. Uh, this is called a Metabone speed booster. Um, it is a 0.64. Open it up with the diving. <sighs> And what this will allow me to do is adapt my Canon lenses onto a GA onto the GH5. One huge benefit of shooting with the speed booster is that I get an extra stop of light. So what does that mean? That means if I'm shooting, for instance, the 24 to 105 f4 on my full frame camera, then I'm actually going. It's actually going to be a stop down, so I'll actually be shooting at an f3. So we'll be getting more light. I think it's an f3. It's an f2.8? I don't know exactly. I get a stop of light, which means I get more light. So here we got, da 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 da, the Metabones. So Metabones is the brand. So what this is gonna allow me to do, again, is attach my L-series lens to the Micro Four Thirds camera. Boom, which is right there. So one thing great about Metabones is that they come in these cool cases. You can see that? Metabones. And they do come with a warning on here that says, warning. Use of Speed Boost XL on unsupported cameras may result in serious shutter damage. So you want to make sure you get the right Metabones for your camera that you're trying for the system you're trying to build. Again, this 0.64 works to adapt my Canon EF lenses onto a Micro Four Thirds GH5. So let me see if I can just attach this up again. This is the first time I haven't attached any of this stuff before. So you guys are seeing firsthand what it might be like if you guys ordered a GH5. Da -da -da. Do some tests. So now we have the Micro Four Thirds, the Speed Booster. So what's going to end up happening is this be able to lock in. Just like that. So now what we have is our Speed Booster attached to our GH5. And I can't take off my lens because the lens is attached to what I'm recording this. But then what would end up happening is I'd take this off and I'd attach the Canon EF lens right onto here. All right, guys, so here we have it. We have a GH5 attached to a Metabone Speed Booster. Again, the reasons why I got this, 120 FPS at 1080, as well as 4K internal recording. Um, it'll, the Metabones allows me to use my L-Series Canon lenses, so I don't have to purchase any more lenses. Um, again, I hope this video helped you decide if you're looking into getting a GH5. I'm gonna put some more video links in my description box. These are the videos I watched to help me decide on this purchase. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be releasing a skin tones review of the GH5 later. Um, again, I hope this helps. Good luck on your journey. Have a great day.